when you download the texture and you're putting this on a mesh, it can sometimes look a little bit boring. So when we look at old paintings and we see all kinds of details like cracks, ornaments, mixing plaster, but also the dark areas and the white areas, it's so well blend together. And when you look at these reference photos I took, we can see these details everywhere. So I thought, why not making a tutorial? So when blending materials, you can create any kind of effect you want. And it makes your structure very unique. So for this tutorial, I was blending two materials, a brick material and a plaster. And he also created some extra maps to create this shader effects. I'm using the materials from Polyhaven. So I'm using this Castle Brick 07. And I'm also using the Grey Plaster 02. And when blending these, you can create any kind of brick effect you want. So let's get started. I'm opening Blender and we're starting with a plane. I'm sizing this by a value of two and removing the lamp. We're switching to the Cycles Render Engine and we go to the Shading tab and we're making the viewport a little bit bigger by moving these screens together. Then we start building the material and just give a name. I'm calling this Brick Blend. All right, so making the shader tab a little bit bigger and we start building the textures. I'm starting with the brick texture and I'm applying this in the base color so we can see the texture. So um, I like to make this a little bit bigger. So I'm using a texture coordinates and a mapping node and using a scale of 1.5, it's just a little bit bigger. So I'm using a roughness map, uh, adding this in the principal shader. Don't forget to switch to non-color data because that gives you the right color effect. So that needs to be done for the normal map and the roughness map. And we're putting the map uh, mapping node inside of the roughness and the normal map. All right, we continue with adding a displacement texture. Uh, you need a displacement node to get the effect working. Don't forget to switch the normal no uh, node map to displacement to get it working. I'm switching the feature set from support to experimental and also displacement to displacement only. Then we're adding the modifier um, and click on adaptive subdivision and switch to simple. Otherwise you're not getting this square effect. All right, so we're making a quick render and we can see it's a little bit dark. So we go to the world setting and we're adding a sky texture, the Nishida sky system, and that adds a very bright sunlight. So before we continue, I like to change the film exposure to 0.1 and we enable transparent so we get a clear view of our texture. Well, that already looks good. All right, we continue and we start with blending the seams texture. This is an extra texture that I added in this tutorial. So if you want it, you need to download this from the description. All right, we continue, we adding a mix node and we combine these two together. You adding the output from the mix node in the base color. And as you can see, when we start rendering, it's a little bit bright. And that's because the alpha value is not working yet. So we're duplicating the mix node again and we're going to blend a bit more. So we're putting the alpha in the factor and we also putting the output from the brick texture into the other mix node. So we're now adding a noise texture and also a texture coordinates node using the UV input uh, into the vector. And we also need a color ramp to uh, get the right effect of the noise. So when rendering, we can see the noise applying, but not really the effect we're looking for. So I have to switch the A and B output to get the seams working. So I'm now using the color ramp and the values on the noise texture to get a sort of a nice uh, a noisy effect for the seams. If you think the seams are too bright, you can add a UE and saturation node to darken a little bit. Right, so from this point we can continue and I'd like to start working on the plaster texture. So for this, I'm using a different principled shader node and I'm importing all the texture maps. Pretty straightforward, uh, that's why I'm speeding up this video. We're adding a mixed shader node and we're combining these two together and you can see they're now totally blended together. I'm also blending the two displacement maps from the brick and the plaster. Um, they're both using different values later so I like to use them separated using a simple color mix node and that is pretty okay. So still not the effect we're looking for that's why we need a color attribute note. 
uh, we're importing this in the shader and we have to click on the name it's plaster flat you're putting this in the factor and when you apply you only see the brick texture working so we can now switch to the vertex paint tab and start painting the plaster so it looks okay but it's still not the effect i'm looking for because it's not blending with the bricks therefore we need the heat value of the displacement map from the bricks so i'm building a node tree to get this working so to have a good blending of the blaster and the brick i'm building this node setup from subtracts and divide nodes and when you're combining these together and you're also adding an add mix node uh, you're able to subtract the heat value from the texture maps so i'm making a group node so it's way easier to um, input all the values in one node adding a blend heat and fall of fall off a value and then we're bringing this back into one node so we can start adding all the max so the color attribute goes into the blend i'm using the heat texture map from the brick texture and that goes straight into the heat value and then we can use the fall off value to blend them together um, using also a color ramp to have more control on the blending effect and we're putting the output from the color ramp into the mix shader and the color mix for the displacement and when we start sliding these textures and we also use the fall off you can see that the effect is already working in a material view that will be different when we render because we have to fine tune the heat value for both displacement maps so we start with the gray plaster displacement using a mid level for zero to start with um, and a lower displacement value also tweaking the uh, castle brick displacement a little bit but now if we lower the fall off we can see that these two are blending perfectly together and keep in mind you have fully control on how these blend so after fixing this plaster i like to add another plaster layer calling this plaster bump i'm duplicating the principal shader for the plaster and adding some extra notes an extra mix shader and color shader for the displacement we're combining these nothing really special i'm also duplicating the color attribute and um, the math note we created uh, for the heat blending uh, we're combining all of this together in fact nothing will change because these values are still the same so if we make a new vertex paint uh, for this effect it will be exactly a copy so the difference will be when we change the values so i'm starting to uh, increase them a little bit and changing the color ramp and you can see the plaster is now popping up from the bricks so we have a layer that is blending and another one that is like on top of the brick and when you look at reference photos you can always see these type well, sort of working together and that is why it is so powerful to using the boat on a texture map all right so this is for the plaster i also like to focus a little bit more on the bricks so when looking at the reference we could see a little bit of dark and uh, orange and white areas and that effect is what i like to add right now so focusing on the shader setup i'm making some space so i can add an extra texture map i'm duplicating a texture and i replace it with a diffuse dark so it's the same brick but i made it a little bit more dark in photoshop adding a mix note we're combining these and also adding an extra color attribute so when we mixing these all together i also want an extra displacement layer for the dark brick so we make this a copy so don't forget to import your texture coordinates in your texture map i'm changing the displacement values a little bit extra in another mix note and we're combining the displacement map and we have to do the same thing for the color map uh, it goes right there and now we can uh, when we switch to the vertex paint mode we can paint a layer of dark bricks on our map and look at that that looks so cool and when we go to the render view you can see it's also displacing but it's a little bit more intense so i like to add one extra texture map and that is the orange brick and the orange brick can blending uh, between all the other bricks um and we're mixing these adding an extra mix note combining these with a different color attribute uh, same for the displacement i'm using a pretty high value for the 
orange bricks so it's a more rough brick um, combining this with a mixed note and now we can paint it on the map so we go to the vertex paint map and paint it so it's between some areas um, it's up to you how you blend this um, I'm increasing the levels viewport so the displacement is a bit more uh, visible on the map and that's pretty much it and from this point um, yeah you can fine-tune everything uh, I'm using this UE and saturation value node to uh, change the, the look of the orange brick so maybe you want to have it a bit more darker or brighter you have full control in this setup and the same for the intensity of the displacement you can make this uh, popping out uh, this is a little bit extreme but you can also move this a bit more inwards um, so we have this different effect and as you can see um, it's coming all together pretty nice all right so um, that's pretty much it for this tutorial I hope you liked it uh, it's a different approach than you're maybe used to but it's very effective when doing architecture visualizations uh, sometimes you can't find your texture uh, and this way uh, you can make your own one all right thanks for watching and I hope to see you in a new video bye bye